Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about an insider spear phishing attack. During the week, the U.S. Department of Justice released details on how an ex-employee of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Committee was attempting to sell information about the NRC and even help in a spear phishing attack. Essentially, this person, Charles Eccleston, has pled guilty to this. He was in the Philippines and going to an unnamed country's embassy and offering to share lots of email addresses for the NRC and also uh, sharing his services for launching a spear phishing attack. Now unbeknownst to him, he was actually talking to some insider US agents who went along with this particular fake deal. And they actually saw him help them try to craft emails to his uh, previous fellow employees talking about nuclear uh, conferences and trying to get them to interact with attachments that he thought was malware but really were benign files. In any case, he pled guilty to this and will probably face some jail time. It's just kind of an interesting security drama and it's kind of unusual to hear such detail about an insider attack and especially see an insider attack trying to leverage spear phishing. And by the way, the practical takeaway everyone can use here is to beware of spear phishing. One of my big predictions this year is around the use of social engineering, specifically this increase in spear phishing. This is where an external attacker, or even in this case potentially an insider, uses the information he knows about you specifically to send you a very specific and customized email that might seem to come from someone you know and have to do with something you actually do at your organization or at home. So it will be a very targeted email that is sometimes harder to identify than typical spear phishing. One general tip I give is to pay attention to context of emails. If you get emails from people you know, use what you know about them to see if the context of the email really fits that person. Beyond that, there's a number of places that share all kinds of phishing and spear phishing tips. If you're interested in those, be sure to check out the links in the blog post associated with this video. In any case, a very interesting story. Beware of spear phishing. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.